All right, it's day three, and we're going to get Chris's list of games that tell great stories, but you wouldn't expect them to, plus an honorable mention that doesn't technically count. That's right. <laughs> I, it got nixed, because this guy's a jerk. All right, let's go. All right, so I got three great ones. And an honorable mention. Jamie, I will say that I got rid of the scotch, so you can calm down mm. now. Mm. It's stank. I'm tired of getting crap. I'm getting like tons of crap today. Scottish whiskey is not as good as Irish whiskey. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, we should get out that red breast I got you. Oh, anyways. Okay, so my three. Should I go with the honorable mention first? I'll do go that. Go with it first. All right, honorable mention is above and below. Now, I got crap because it's a storytelling game by default, right? Mm-hmm. But which is hilarious because that's not the one that I nixed. <laughs> oh, I thought you did nix that one. All right. Well, anyways, so uh, above and below, I it, it I hate you guys. I really do. For sure, you nixed gloom. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Gloom's funny because I've seen so many people not play that as a story game. Okay, go ahead. But anyways, two honorable uh, mentions and one pick. Above. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Take it back. All my Christmas beer. Give it to me. <laughs> anyways, anyways, above and below, not because of the story that is told by the game, but the story that is made up by the villagers that you get. That and I, I can I can agree with that because um, a lot of people that I play with will come up with a story as to why certain characters are in their town and why they go out on adventures and why other ones stay behind. Yes, you had a harem, Jamie. Well, I, it's it, just because they were all women and one dude. <laughs> yeah, that's just. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, when I'm playing, I got a robot, I got a cat person, I got a human. I think I'm Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. See, there you go. So that was my, that was, we'll move on. No, I, I think that one's the pick that makes sense because you're not talking about the specific storytelling elements of the game because Above and Below does have where you're building a city, you're collecting a group of characters to use to take actions. Yeah. And part of it is going and, and exploring underground mm -hmm. and you're reading the storybook and reading story out, which none of it really ties together and makes a cohesive story. But what I liked about your pick here, why this one wasn't the one that I nixed, is because of what you just said. The fact that there's an emergent story that comes from the characters, the way they look, the mm -hmm. you know, the, like in that situation, the gender of the characters, sort of like there was an all women town that I just happened to make. And it wasn't like I was picking them specifically. It was like they had cool powers. Yeah, yeah. So it was like neat that I was like, oh, there's, there's this town full of women with one big giant dude with a bald head with a hammer. Named that Steve. Was, that was just building <laughs> things. <laughs> I don't build things. I don't know why he had to jab at you there, but I don't know either. I'm just, but the fact is, with a bald head. But my, my point is, being nice. there's emergent story there, right? And yeah. the types of buildings you build. So there's like a there's like sort of like the the infrastructure of your town. So it felt. I always feel that as that's the story of the game, as opposed to going down and fighting the Glogos. Right. Right. You know. Yep. Okay. So I have four good games then. No. Oh, well. All yeah. right. We'll so, see. So my number one non honorable mention is Last Will. Oh, that's a great pick. Which is the game of Brewster's Millions, essentially. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen the movie, go see it because it's fantastic. But essentially, you got a you got a ton of money and you got to get rid of it mm -hmm. by getting prize horses, by taking your wife or girlfriend on some crazy expensive dates, and by, taking that horse with the yeah, wife. Yes, see, that's the thing I love. It's mm -hmm. when we get into that that I think is great because not only are you buying properties and stuff, but when you go on the dates, you got to take your horse or you got to take your chef or you yeah. got like. So you your drunken a, friend from college goes with you too, yeah. and he's kind of a, <laughs> like a hanger on that like you spend money on him. So you're making up these stories as to like why are these people moochers and need mm -hmm. ten thousand dollars to go on a date? Like why is the horse going there? She's going on a date with the horse, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's fun to make up stories as you're spending lots of money. It's a great game. You know, the only thing that I would think we could make that game better is if all of the characters were different and had personality yeah. in and of themselves, right? Like, as every girlfriend character is the same character and every horse is the same and every chef is the same, every, mm. you know, old friend from college is the same. It'd right. be cool if yeah. they had, like, a name, like, like old old Stinky Joe from, from college. <laughs> and, like, yeah, there's, like, this guy looked like a bum. There's, like, Arr. that'd be, like, hilarious. And, like, oh, then Steve got, like, the old ship captain who's always <laughs> drunk. That'd be, like, hilarious if they were all different types of characters. So then it lended a little more personality to it. Yeah, yeah that would be neat. I, actually, that would be fantastic. Wouldn't we need it? to get that done. Because yeah. that's, what that's what's great about Above and Below, going back to your last pick, is all of the characters are completely different. Yeah. So it gives them all, like, individual personality 
the same would be awesome in Last Will if it was the same kind of concept. And uh, going back to Above and Below again, so we have characters in Above and Below from our promo. That's right. Mm. And I specifically recall, even though I don't remember the powers, our powers were very attuned to our particular personality. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember seeing mine, and I was like, seriously? Yeah, Ryan, right. Ryan told me that I'm one of the most powerful characters in the game. He said I'm, I'm almost broken. <laughs> so in real life, I'm so powerful, I'm broken. Uh, <laughs> that must be it. All right, I'm glad I gave you the upstage beer. <laughs> All right. I did upstage both your picks at this point. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> All right, number two is Zaya, Legend of a Drift System. Because... No Nixon here, because that's great. No, it is great. And I was I was stressed because I wanted to put Eclipse in because mm-hmm. every time I play Eclipse, I feel like there's a story going on, sure, but there is. Then I thought, no, Zaya is the one. Zaya mm-hmm. is the one where it's so sandbox that as people play and develop their own strategy and playing patterns, I see Steve as the pirate mm-hmm. or I see you as the cop or, or like me as the merchant and what you're doing. And I'm, I'm making up a story or I see Brant the reckless Mm-hmm. Jumping into a supernova and dying <laughs> every single time, yeah, every time. <laughs> so it 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 builds a story, and it's a space game, which I love, and it's sandbox, and it's it's very, um, it's it's not the best game. Sure, it's definitely not, but, but who cares? it's still just fun. Got a tagline for it: in space, no one can hear Brent scream. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because he just goes boop. And, <laughs> blows up well i'll tell you i agree with you chris and and going to your point of it just being like i see you as the the merchant character who's delivering goods and you as the the pirate character what makes uh what the reason that is is because eclipse is such a big scale game right it's a fleet game and there's no personality to anything in there you can give it personality to the whole civilization in general but really it's like taking like this giant epic space opera and taking it down to Firefly, yeah, where it's just a crew it's and one with ship. one ship, yep. And you can think about what's my crew like and what are their motivations and what are we doing in this game. Zaya has that in Spades because it's just so it, it's there's so much to do in it that you can do anything and have any personality you want. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a great pick. Zaya mm-hmm. is fantastic. Yep. So my last one. Since I get four today, yeah. Uh, my my last one, thank you, Steve, is Robinson Crusoe. Mm-hmm. I had not yes. even thought about this, even though just the other day I was trying to plan getting the expansion. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a game of being lost on an island, essentially. I got the idea from a book I read. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that you go out and you explore and certain things happen. Uh, the, primarily, it's that uh, I think certain situations occur in the game that get shuffled back in for later. So it's it's when you get bitten by the snake and the card goes back in the deck. Then now I start thinking about you as having the snake bite. And mm-hmm. when's it gonna? What's gonna happen? Yeah. Like what's gonna happen to you? Or the cannibals are out, and now we like we've got cannibals coming. Uh, it's it's. It's really cool, and the characters, because they're so generic as far as, like, chef mm-hmm. and this and that. Uh, they can we, be you. We as players yeah. can kind of interject ourselves into right. that character, and when it's done well, you take on the personality of the chef, and you do what the chef would do. Um, it it's kind of goes back to we make decisions based on what our character is and not necessarily what is the best yeah. choice. Because we're making story choices as opposed to gameplay choices, which right. not a lot of people. I mean, well, I would say there's a lot of people out there that would find that annoying. Oh, well, I, that we would I play, play with that people that, that find yeah. it annoying. I, I go, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to I'm gonna choose this because that's what my character would do. Yeah. If you didn't want me to choose that, you shouldn't have told me to take this character. Chris is playing the coward this time, so he runs from everything <laughs> yeah. and we die. But no, no, this, this is a perfect pick, and I'll tell you why it's a perfect pick and why it's the greatest one to be last. Because this one is also designed by Ignacy Ignacy. Jevicek. Ignacy. Yes. And uh, his company, Portal Games, their tagline is board games that tell stories. Mm-hmm. So his focus is making games that have emergent storytelling. Uh, you know, even when, you know, some games like Detective have an actual story, you know, but games like Stronghold, games like Robinson Crusoe, they have emergent storytelling that is just events and that sequence of events all clustered together 
tell a story that's different every single mm -hmm. time you play it. And even, that's why I love Ignacy and Portal games. I even go back to the weather in Robinson yeah. Crusoe because I I just I distinctly remember the very first time I ever played that, and I was like, this game is nothing. Mm. This is so easy. And then the winter hit, and yeah. I, all I could imagine was us shivering in our shelters. Like trying well, to find heat, and shivering wood. because we didn't build shelters. Well, yeah. I didn't think we needed them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even just the story cards. I have pictures of us in camp dealing with all this stuff. So I, well, it's so good. We don't need food. We just eat Steve. I don't know if there are cannibal. We can cannibalize people. <laughs> That's the Tony variant. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to eat me. I'm full of worms. You just got You're giant. Full of, full of toxins is what you are. <laughs> you got, you got giant it. ham hocks. <laughs> well, Chris, I have to say that I am fully happy with your list. Thank minus you. Gloom. Gloom was the one where you just right. tell stories. Just, mm. It's still a great game, though. Yes, it is. It's but all the other ones, game. fantastic. All four, including the the uh, honorable mention, which was actually a pick now. All right. Thank you. So, yeah, I get four. That means I'm better. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Your list was great. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us for our lists today. Come on back in two weeks where we're giving you another list that we haven't picked yet. We're, yeah, we'll figure, figure it out, out when it gets there. It'll and be I'll great. I'll pick mine an hour before the show. Apparently. All right. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Good night. Later. Good night. Thanks so much, everybody. If you've enjoyed this video, please do us a giant favor by subscribing to the channel and clicking that wacky bell icon. If you're into board games, miniatures games, role-playing games, we have a bunch of audio podcasts you might enjoy. You can find those at thesecretcabal.com or on iTunes and Stitcher.